What's up, y'all? Carmen Chloe here of singlemarriedwidow.com. And the question for this video is, do grieving widows make people feel uncomfortable? Do grieving widows make people feel uncomfortable? So, for the most part, if you're a widow, nobody can even remotely understand how you feel except for another widow. And even within that, the community of widows, we don't know how each other feels because we did not share the same relationship. We didn't share the same marriage. Um, we weren't in the same space or season in our marriages when our husbands passed. So um, nobody can really understand how you feel. The only people that can kind of come close to that are widows. So other people when they're around and you're grieving if you you know you grieve in front of other people or if you go through seasons or have different memories or different things where you just may break down and cry in front of other people who don't understand i believe that it can make some people uncomfortable i feel like sometimes the whole subject of death makes people uncomfortable in in general some people because everybody's different i, I hate to categorize or label people but I think the whole subject of death can make people extremely uncomfortable and they don't want to talk about it and then especially for like other women who are married I think a lot of them just you know looking at somebody else's reality of them losing their husband I think it kind of forces them to think about their own um mortality and then their husband's mortality as well so I think a lot of times people kind of avoid it and I just reflect on just certain people who who know me in real life who may have you know offered their condolences once and then after that I didn't hear from them they don't check on me people that I know in like real life and then you know certain people on social media that know me in real life who've not said anything about me losing my husband um I felt a way about it like a couple of months ago. It's only been four months. In the beginning, I felt a way about it. Like, I know you see that my husband passed away on social media. Like, everybody saw that my husband passed away. And you know me in real life and you knew my husband, but you didn't even say anything to me. Like, at first, it made me feel a way like, oh God, like, how insensitive are you? But um, as time goes on and I kind of grow wiser in this whole walk to widowhood i realized that a lot of people don't they don't know how to um entertain the idea of death if that makes any sense so as opposed to them you know saying anything or saying the wrong thing they just simply don't say anything and then um going back to the whole thought process of death making people feel uncomfortable especially married people and thinking about the possibility of their spouse passing away i think for a lot of people if they don't talk about it it's kind of like out of sight out of mind and oh it won't happen to me if i don't talk about it if i don't um acknowledge it or whatever so that's just the way i process it in um my head and a lot of times when i do have like my breakdowns or when i'm kind of tearing up a lot of times it's mostly when i'm i'm in a comfortable space if i'm like alone or if i'm um, in the house with my children or when i'm recording a video where i feel like kind of comfortable but most of the times when i'm around other people i'm not necessarily talking about my husband but something may come up or i may reflect on somebody else who experienced um another loss and I may get kind of you know teary-eyed like I was talking with my mom tonight at dinner about um I was watching Nipsey Hussle's uh memorial service and I was telling her how when his children got on stage how I just you know it really broke my heart especially his daughter and you know when they wanted her to say her final goodbye to her father and she just you know she couldn't turn and face the crowd like my heart ached and when I was you know um, describing that to my mom like I started crying then because it made me correlate you know how how she acted on stage with my oldest daughter who like couldn't even you know she had her back towards the funeral service at my husband's funeral and like during the wake like she couldn't even go in the room because she didn't want to see it so just making correlations and connections in that aspect when I'm around other people and I'm talking about it, I may get, you know, teary eyed or start crying or whatever. But for the most part, like I don't, you know, at this point in time, like I don't I don't really break down in front of people. It's more so when I'm in a comfortable environment or if I'm just like straight up talking about my husband and reflecting and having memories. So um I do feel like 
grieving widows can make people feel uncomfortable, especially um, people who don't who don't know what to say or people who don't have the wisdom to know that there's nothing that you really can say and that, you know, one of the best things that you can do is to just sit and be quiet. I think it says that in the Bible, like if a friend is grieving to grieve with them or to kind of just sit there and, you know, hush if you don't have anything um, to say. So for the most part, I think, I think it just depends on the individual, but I think a lot of people are uncomfortable by the conversation of death, especially married people who are still married and they're, you know, looking at somebody else's experience of losing a spouse. I think a lot of times it reminds them of the fact that, um, their spouse is not immortal and that, you know, that it could happen to them as well. So that's just my take on the whole subject of if grieving widows make people feel uncomfortable. Again, this is Carmen Chloe of singlemarriedwidow.com. If you know any widows or if you are a widow, I invite you to join my community of support, my community of widows that just get it. I mean, we, we, we get it to a certain extent. So I'll see you guys on the next video. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel, like this video and comment below and I'll see you on the next one. Peace.